Hey folks, welcome back. So a couple weeks ago, I picked up this thing off a guy that lived down the road just a little ways further from here. And this week, we are gonna start tearing into this thing. Uh, there's several things that I'm aware of that need replacing on here. And so we gotta tear into it, see uh, what all there is, take stock of that, count up how many different parts there are, uh, see what sizes they are, all that kind of good stuff, figure that out, and then we can order some replacement parts so we can get this thing up and running. So we're switching back over to working on our chicken coop here for a little bit. And the next step of this project is to get our main beams here connected to our frame. Basically at each wheel, we've got a piece of this channel iron that's connected to the frame. And what we're gonna do is we've got to drill a hole through here, through our beam, and we're gonna run a bolt through each one of these corners to hold these in place. And then once we get these in place, we can start attaching our uh, cross pieces to our main stringers. I've broken a good few drill bits, but I have never seen one untwist itself from getting caught in something and then and then snapping like that. I mean, that is just, that's crazy. I'm not sure how well you can see it on there, but I mean, that's twisted backwards right in that section. It didn't just straighten out. It actually started twisting back in the other direction. That is crazy. Alrighty, so we got both of the front ones bolted on. Now for the back, what we're gonna do is, I don't think you can quite see it, but I've got a ratchet strap on this side connecting the front to the back because the, uh, the distance that this beam right here is sticking back of our axle is a little bit longer than this side. So what I'm gonna try doing is ratcheting this up, pulling this tight, and then trying to kind of pivot that just a little bit, bring this side together, and then hopefully get it to be a little bit more square, and hopefully everything will be more lined up, I guess.
All right, we're switching back to working on this disc again. And today I actually brought out some of the stuff that I need uh, as far as tools for hopefully getting this thing apart. Last time I was out here, I forgot a couple things, so I wasn't really able to do a whole lot with disassembling these individual sets of discs. But hopefully we'll get that done today. I've had it soaking with some uh, penetrating oil on here, so hopefully these things will just pop right apart, no problem. One down. Question is, there we go. Alrighty, so for the disc, the last thing that we're gonna be working on it for this week is I wanna get a little jack under this side of it, lift this up so that our two back sets are off the ground, and then I'll pull those off as well. And once I get those off, I can take a good look at them, see what all's going to need replacing on those sets, and then I can get an order put in for new parts, and then maybe we can get back to working on this next week and get this back together and hopefully into working order. All right, so today is our last day for this week. And what I wanna try getting done is getting our cross pieces here attached to our main beams. Now, when I talked about doing this in last week's video, one of you guys had an interesting idea. Now, originally what I was planning on doing is using angle iron to attach all of these on here. And so that way it just, uh, we kind of sit down in here, part of it would hook to our cross piece and part of it would hook to our main beam. And I mentioned that I needed to get some more of it. Now, one of you said, well, what about pegging the stuff together? Uh, kind of like you would with a timber frame. So I kind of got to thinking, and it sounds like an interesting idea. And the way this would work is you just drill a hole straight down through here and then ooh, drop your, or drive your pin down through there and then you could put some uh, nails or whatever through the, uh, the, the peg to kind of hold it in place. Now, when I picked up the, the wagon, I actually got uh, eight of these pieces of angle iron with it. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to put angle on this one, this one, this one, and this one down here on the end. So that'll leave us with two here, two here, and two up here that won't have angle. And I think we'll try doing pegs on those, uh, see how that works. 
I don't know that I would entirely trust myself to do a good enough job with just the pegs on all of them, but combining these with the angle on several of these down here, I think this should work pretty well. Alrighty folks, all of these things are pegged in place. Now, I haven't put any cross pins yet through these pegs, so if you were to lift up really, really hard on this, uh, you would be able to pop off these 4x4s that are only pegged in place. So basically, I need to put a pin that goes like this direction through the peg, and uh, it goes into the 4x4 and through the peg, and then another one that would go through the main beam and through the peg. That way it locks it all into place. Um, I'll probably just use screws for that or something. I'm not for sure, but we aren't gonna get that done tonight. So next week, uh, probably the next step on this is going to be doing some milling because we gotta start doing some framing to get our walls and our rafters and all that kind of stuff in place on here. And I don't think we've really got anything milled up for that yet. So. Uh, we'll probably be doing a little bit of milling and then hopefully we'll be getting started on putting some of this framing up as well. I have no idea when parts for the disc are going to be coming in so we might get a little bit done on that next week or that may have to wait a couple weeks. But anyways, that is all that we are going to get done for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.